Hi everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. What makes me enjoy the field I'm in, uh, strength and conditioning, is that exercises that were really good will disappear. And then they'll come back and the big question is, is what happened to that? Why did we forget doing it? And it's because it, things just ran out of, of favor. If you read the original Track and Field Omni book by J.K. Doherty, uh, 1971, by the way, it's a small story, the reason I went to Utah State is because what he said about Ralph Mon in that book. Uh, my coach at Utah State, proud Aggie, you'll see that this exercise is everywhere in that book. It's called the Deficit Depth. Now, I'm on two pads here. I got these pads from Sornex, and my deficit deadlift attachment comes from Brett Contreras. Now, you can also do this with kettlebells, or you can just use your T handle. Uh, if you read one of Tim Ferriss' books, he gives credit to Dave Draper for this idea, which is funny because it was my idea that we put on the Dave Draper forum, because, you know, he is so focused on accuracy. The deficit depth. You put a load, and the load is going to go beneath your feet a little bit. In this particular exercise, one of the things I want you to think about is as you bring, so I'm going to show, I'm going to pick the weight up and I'm going to bring it down. Very much like the kettlebell snatch, it's a top down exercise in my mind. When we do deficit deadlifts, we always push, we always push the bell back towards our heels to ensure that we're not folding our upper body, but we're actually hinging back. So let me show you a deficit deadlift. Remember, you can do these with kettlebells. Um, uh, you can do them with dumbbells by holding just one end of them. You probably could hook up a rope with weights. It's it. Yeah, you're. I think there's value to it, especially in when you work with anybody who does jumping for a living. So let's go through a couple. I'm going to pick the weight up. I'm going to stand tall, make sure I'm, I'm sort of planked. As I go down, I'm pushing the bell towards my heels, 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 heels. I'm in a deep hinge now. I'm going to go a little steeper and then snap back up. Heels, 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 heels. Deep position, come back up. Now, someone's going to raise their hand. Can we go higher? You can do anything you want, but you're going to find that there's a place as you go down where you go from hinging, where you go from hinging, 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 to simply folding over. And folks, you don't want to fold over in the gym. I'm Dan John from Dan John University. Try your deficit deadlifts. I'm here to help. Thank you.